Hello and welcome to this section of the TI-89 Calculator Tutor. In this section we're going to learn how to calculate partial derivatives with this calculator. Now if you're in Calculus 1 you haven't learned about partial derivatives yet. Uh, typically you learn about those guys in Calculus 2 or Calculus 3 depending on how your class is really set up. They're really not that hard. Um, so what I want to do is just go ahead and describe it here. If if it's not making sense to you or if it's something you're not studying now, feel free to skip this section. But honestly, it's only a few minutes long because it doesn't take that long to describe this. Uh, to take a partial derivative, there is no separate function for partial derivative. You use the same derivative uh, uh, menu item as we did in the previous section. So if you know how to do that, you're already halfway there. We use the same guy. Now, just as a quick refresher, a partial derivative is basically done the same way that you would calculate a regular derivative. It's just that partial derivatives apply when we have a function of more than one variable. So instead of uh, x squared and taking the derivative with respect to x, let's go ahead and do that. We did this in the last section. We're taking the function f of x is equal to x squared and taking the derivative with respect to x. So we get 2x uh, there. Now, if we had a more complicated function, a function of two variables, let's say we have y times x squared. So this is now a function, f of x is a function of two different variables, y times x squared. Now you still have to tell it what variable to take the derivative with respect to. And when you do that, the calculator is going to take the derivative with respect to that variable and hold everything else constant. In other words, if we hit enter right now, we're going to take the derivative of this function, y times x squared, with respect to x. That means that since x is what we're taking the derivative with respect to, the calculator and, and the rules of calculus are going to hold everything else in this guy constant. So this y here uh, is going to be held, it's going to be treated, I should say, as if it were just a constant number. So all of the rules of derivatives that, you know, how sometimes you have a, a constants in there, you have to do certain things with them, you know all the rules with that. Well, in this case, for all practical purposes, if I hit enter, this y might as well be a 1 or a 2 or a 5 or just some constant. So let's go ahead and stop talking about it and do it. When we go ahead and hit enter here, the derivative of this with respect to x is given by 2 times x times y. Pretend for a second that y was equal to 2 right, just the number 2 right here, then it's a constant, obviously, right? So how do you take the derivative of 2 times x squared? Well, you take 2 times the 2 that's out here is 4, 4x, uh, or 4x, yeah, that's it. So 